Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again, or for the very first time, to the Farts and Crap Show, where today, as per usual, it's your host, Anjo, here. Hope you guys are all doing well. And, um, yeah, today's gonna be part, uh, what are we up to now? 17, I think? I always forget to check, like, whenever I'm recording these episodes, I always, always forget to check what episode it actually is, but, you know, uh, it's, uh, it's gonna be whatever the thumbnail and the title of the video indicates, so, it's, it's that. Well, there's a clover, but it's frozen. Uh, also, I find it weird, I keep, uh, inadvertently using the tiny freaking d-pad on this controller instead of a uh, like it's small but it is still a good d-pad um, like one thing I haven't seen but I would really like to see from PDP um, let's kind of see them do like a yeah, Ezlo. Yeah. Anyway, I'll continue that thought in a minute. What? This floor is made of ice. Be careful not to fall and freeze your backside to the floor, Torrent. Yeah. I I know. I've gone through a couple areas with icy floor. Okay, whatever. I mean, if you came straight here, I guess this might be the first time you encounter ice, but... I don't know. Um, anyway. One thing I'd like to see um, is PDP attempt uh, basically do a controller like um, kind of like a fight pad or whatever. Uh, essentially, a retro style controller that. Um, well, I mean, I, I think that is the name of this controller. Actually, is the fight pad for. Wii U. I think? Wired Fight Pad for Wii U. That is the name of this controller. I just checked. The box is right behind me. Um, because I keep the boxes for most of my stuff that I use frequently, because if I forget the name, I can just reach behind me and be like, oh yeah, it's, uh, it's actually this. Um... Oh, it's like that Pokemon puzzle. Gotcha. Um, but yeah. Like a fight pad more in the style of like how... Power A, I think, did the fusion fight pad. Or... I mean, there was a lot of people that didn't like that one. Um, kind of like the... Uh, What's another way to put it? The, um... The other one, uh... Shit. What's the name of it? So anyway, in, in uh, the Hori Fighting Commander, that's the name of it. Um, and basically, most of these controllers are designed, um... Kind of around the uh, Sega Saturn style controller because in uh, in the opinions of many uh, that it's still like the best um, controller for fighting games and uh, I I would I would agree I would entirely agree is there there is something ominous about this uh, light source. I don't know what the deal is. But I imagine since like everything's frozen in this dungeon we're probably gonna get that uh... I think you actually have to push these things. Yeah. And that does what? Hey! The sunlight shining through. Ah, it's so nice and warm. I can feel myself starting to defrost again. Uh-huh. Yeah, so it seems like we're gonna get the fire ability in this dungeon. 
Hmm, looks like something is frozen inside this block of ice. Taunt, why don't you go take a look? Well, I could take a look, but that's not going to help. Can I blast it? No. Can I... Slam it, no. Oh, I get it. I have to stop it in front of the, uh, in the, under the light source. Gotcha. Oh, that is really strong sunlight. Alright, cool beans. Um, what was I saying about the, uh, PDP to make fight pad? Uh, yeah, because their PDP's fight pads have been... Uh, designed around the GameCube controller for Smash Brothers in the past. Uh, and they're good. I, 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 I like the way they feel. They control well. Um, it's personally what I use for Smash. Partially because I haven't been able to get my hands on one of those uh, actual GameCube controllers. Um, because, like, Nintendo never keeps them in stock. Like, they're supposed to be $30, but... You know, I haven't seen one for $30 in a long time. Like, the only time I actually see them in stock is, like, the Japanese... Um... Import? Version? And then you have to pay, like, a, a little bit of a premium for, like, shipping and whatnot. I'm just like, why? That's the big key. Huh. Oh. But I want the big key. Puzzling, puzzling, and I believe, wait a minute, if I push it through there, that would go straight to the wall. Okay, that doesn't help. Um, if I push it through, okay, I see the pattern now. Alright, slide her down, slide this one to the left, I think this is right. Left. To the up, to the left. Oh crap, I screwed up, huh? Uh, maybe? Yeah, well. Checking all available moves. Mm. Yeah, that's not going to work. Well, how else would I do that? Okay, because if I... Hold on. Uh... Okay, so ideally... Getting it around there is not going to work. So if I... Have it here... Oh! Okay, so if I reverse engineer it... I need to, to stop here, or on this plane, so I can push it there, push it in the switch, and then push it into the thing. Right, but I can't have it stop on this one, because from here, that block would be 
unlocking it. Oh, so I can still do that. Okay. I just push this to left. Push it down. Right. Get up. Come on. There we go. And I imagine this needs to be shut in order to do something upstairs. So I'm just gonna... Okay. Wait, isn't that the room I came from? Oh, it's the only exit to this room anyway, so... Um... Missing here. What's going on? Like there wasn't anything else to this entire. No, there isn't. So where do we go? Supposed to jump off? Nope. Oh, the big key. Okay, the door's right here. Gotcha. It's being stupid. Hey! Well done, Taunt. Looks to be the element, alright. What will we do? We can't even touch it while it's trapped in the ice. We need to melt it off somehow. Yeah, we do, don't we? Oh, shit, no. Oh, that is a big freaking Octorok. I can't hop in its mooth. That sucks. Take my billion sword slash. Uh, I'm gonna check down here first. There's something. Alright, we got the map. Cool. It's one thing I really enjoy about this game is a lot of the dungeon designs. Um, they feel very unique. Like, there, there's a bit of, um... And not too much, but a bit. Like, I'm being quite literal. Um... There's a, a tiny bit of sameness when it comes to classic adventure games, I guess. Not necessarily just Zelda, but... Um... A lot of dungeon designs... Feel borrowed. Ow. Oh yeah, I can't, uh, I need to get up on the shallow. Because it was so small, and I need a key for that door anyway. Okay, so that's coming up only. Okay. There we go, there we go. I mean, I didn't see anywhere else to go, so... The 
The way forward is hidden in the bottom of the pot. Huh? Oh yeah, look at that. Alright. Can I get up here? No? Alright. Got a small key. Looks just like, hey man, it's like, I don't know, average size. <laughs> don't body shame me. <laughs> like, okay, it's small, fine. Still. Body shaming is not cool, brah. Alright, let's go ahead and open the door. And go down here, press the button, lower the thing. Get up on... Get up on this jam. How does this help? Oh, wait a minute. I could get off of the thing real quick and then yeah there we go Arbitrary decision, upper to the right. Whoops. that actually. Alright, so we need to melt that in some way. Oh shit, no, these guys. Wait, can I? Oh my god. Yeah, that works. Oh. Not until they drop their thing. Why do I look... Huh. So if I just push that one down, that's not going to work, right? Uh, nope. Gonna have to stop it here, push it up. But if I... it needs to come from the right. So it's going to have to stop here. Uh, 
is going to have to stop here. And I don't see a way to do that. So, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, I can start it from this one. Push that one to the right. Push it down. Take the left. To the up. Alright. Oh, the quest of the lily pad continues. I gotta say though, I am really jiving on this music. Uh oh. Torn, where are you? Still there under me? It's so dark, I can't see my beacon from my face. Watch your step. I don't want you to trip over anything. Uh, okay. It is very dark in here. Okay, we got a mini boss room, cool. Let's, uh... I mean, I think I've already determined the best way to take these guys out. Oh, okay. You just use boomerang. Gotcha. So this is the big one. Obviously, I can't push it by myself. Gotta make some shadow clones. Oh, that's half of it. Okay. Or a quarter, maybe? It's uh, really hard to... Uh, blah. Of course, sunlight. Once we got some sunlight to melt the ice, the element will be as good as ours. Well, I mean, maybe, you know. Um, I don't want to jump down there. I did see that is an option, but there was like two other ways I didn't go down here. So I kind of want to find out what's up with that. What's up with that jam? back to that one. Um, I remember this, dude. Oh, damn it. 
Well, that's why the bouncy walls are there, apparently. Cool. Alrighty. Um, is there another path or? I mean, no, right? I don't think there was. I have to take the lily pad all the way around, right? shallow thing on there. Could be totally wrong about the fire thing, but I... I don't know, I've seen a couple of puzzles where... I kind of need a fire thing? And I mean, I don't know, there's typically like a fire ability in the Zelda games. Whether it's like fire arrows, or like torches, or ember seeds, what have you, there, there's typically one, you know? I think even in, in A Link to the Past, it was like the fire rod. I think it was called. Okay, that will cause some knockback. Not a lot, but a little bit. I should probably stick to the boomerang for now. Or the bow, either one, but no. I kinda like the boomerang better. is correct, so I'm just going to arbitrarily choose left. And it was the right call. Good deal. Still don't have a small key, so... Looks like I'm going to have to pull a lever downstairs for this one. I don't have a way to get over there, so... Stairs again. Oh, look at that. That's cool. And that'll open the one from upstairs. Got it. Got it. Hashtag winning. Alright. There we go. This has to be a small key. Yep. I guess I can just leave those open, probably. Thousands of snakes. 
Oh, no, it's the, um... Choo-choo strikes again, but this time it's a blue choo-choo. Or a blue choo, as uh, I would like to call him. And he's electrified, because of course he is. Awesome. Shit. Is that not working? Oh, because it doesn't work when he's electrified. Okay, I gotcha. Come on, just fall. Just fall, thank you. Sound effect is so crunchy, I love it. You got the flame lantern. The handy item lights up the night. Press a button, turn it on or off. Cool. Um Wait, did a link at the Link to the Past, the lantern is the first thing you get. There's also a fire rod? Wow, this thing is hot. Very impressed. Um, I guess I'll just press on where to know. There was that one chest from earlier I couldn't uh, defrost, but not sure if it'll come into play or not. And it was just probably just rupees, honestly, or mysterious shells. Which I don't really need either right now. Oh, I see. are annoying. Looks like having a light source was uh, overrated. Ooh.
All right, good stuff. Yes, I do realize we are at about time, folks. Just, um, just want to get through this room first. Like the fourth, third, or fourth one I've got. And if I could find a fairy, that'd be really cool. Alright, there we go. can't attack when I'm on fire? What? Oh, come on, come on. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, I have the, like... This is finally coming into play, cool. Area would be really cool right about now. Uh, I do have two. I could just use one if I wanted to, but I think I'll just tough it out for a minute. Uh, okay. So I obviously need to start by doing the vertical one. Or down. I feel like I should be pushing it down. And then push this one down by one. Puzzles. Um, okay. Okay, so I need to figure out which block, which button to press first with an ice block. Uh, and then the other two I need to press on simultaneously. And the cloning blocks are not far enough away to do the top and the bottom, so the middle is out of the question, and... I'm not sure if it actually matters which one I do. I need two spaces in between, so... I think I see it. I think so. So what I need to do is I need to push this one over here, and then I don't think it actually matters which one you do, top or bottom. So I'm just going to do the bottom one, push that over like so, and then do the duplication trick. Uh, 
Okay, and then we got it. Whoa! Frick. Yeah, the ice. Wait a minute. Does the lantern reduce? It doesn't reduce ice physics? Okay. Alright, you know what? It's way easier to do it this way. Alright, how about this? Oh, we can just use the walls. Right. Well, for the most part. And then just go, go, go. There we go. Uh, what is the point of this room? Oh. I see it. Never mind. I thought that was the point of it. Am I totally mistaken? Oh, oh, oh. I see. The pattern would be better if it was going that way. Gotcha. see the point in this one. Just what, light all the torches, or...? Okay. Yeah, oh man. The hitboxes are so finicky. Why does that one like always want to miss? There we go. Fuck's sake. Oh, you can just knock him in the water. Okay. I should probably start playing more carefully. Seems like a good idea. I wonder what this one's about. I guess it's kind of a callback, right? Oh, can I burn the webs? Oh, that's cool. Kinda? Sometimes? Oh, 
Oh, that didn't work. They get really pissed. I guess having to separate them is like the main challenge here. Oh crap. Oh shit. They Pac Maned me. fairies that would be great that would be super that would be nice that would be cool This is probably the end. I mean, we can go a little long on this one. Like, if I can do the dungeon in like one long episode, I'm okay with that. That's gotta be it, right? Yes, there's gonna be a boss fight. Cause there's always a boss fight at the end of a dungeon. We did it, Torrent. Now we can take the element. That was a lot of trouble, but we finally did it. And what in blazes? Hey, something's not right here. Yeah, we also defrosted the Octorok. Dahoy. Mm hmm. What's this? The stupid Octorok store element. Don't just stand there. We gotta go get it. Torn now! Yeah, I got it. Thank you. But maybe leave the dungeon real quick to get some fairies and then come back? Because uh, we are out of fairies. I mean, it'll probably be fine. Just go ahead and save, and then uh, maybe create a restore point real quick, and uh, then we'll do it. How about that? And let me guess. This boss is going to utilize the lantern in some significant way. How am I supposed to... here like I don't
Uh, let me get to your stupid tail, man. the hitboxes on this guy. Is there something I'm missing here? Is there like a different thing I'm supposed to do? Can I like light myself on fire? <laughs> to like. make myself faster because I was sure moving quick earlier. When I was burning. Boots, maybe? Okay, so you just take damage with Pegasus Boots. I don't think it's any faster. I really don't. can't get too close to him because then you just bounce off of his butt or whatever, or his side, or his legs, which apparently do have hitboxes. You know what, apparently this is going to take a while, so uh, just screw it. I'm just going to do this on the next episode. Um, but yeah, thank you all for being here. I don't know what the hell to do about this boss. Um, so I'm probably gonna look it up or something and just like because I'm, I'm, I'm apparently doing it wrong or I just suck at the game I don't know something's happening but uh, thank you all for being here I hope you guys had a good time and uh, I did do like pretty much the entire dungeon so in one episode that's, that's cool and uh, of course a very special thank you to the Farts and Crap Show members Old Cranky Gamer and Avalis Draconis thank you guys so much for checking out the join button down below choosing to support the show a bit more directly it greatly helps out and uh, until next time, everybody, take care, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.